This video explains how to set up Sage Payroll for processing in the new tax year. First, you'll need to set up the new tax year for each payroll. Log in to Sage Payroll 2022 and confirm that your payroll status is at end of period for the final period of the tax year. Click Year End, Tax, Set up 2023 tax year. Then click Continue. You've now successfully copied your payroll into Sage Payroll 2023. To close the confirmation message, click Close. From your desktop, open Sage Payroll 2023. Then log into your payroll as usual. You can then repeat these steps for any other payrolls you want to process in 2023. The next steps are to set up your payroll calendar and if your financial year is the same as the tax year, clear your financial balances. Click Company slash Payroll, then Calendar. If your financial year starts on the 1st of January, you're prompted to clear down financial year balances. You can either choose Clear Down Financial Year Balances or if you prefer to do this manually, do not clear down the financial balances now. Then click Continue. To close the confirmation message, click OK. In first pay period dates, enter your first pay date of the new tax year. This date must fall in the first tax period of 2023 and will determine all future pay dates for the tax year. You can also enter your first check date, gyro date and bank date if they're different to the pay date. If you're processing a monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly payroll, you'll need to choose your valid pay days. There's also an option to choose last day of month if this is your usual pay date. To create the calendar, click Update. You can now check and, if required, make changes to any pay dates in your 2023 calendar. You should also confirm that your financial year details have been entered correctly. To save the calendar, click Save. You can now set period 1 of the new tax year. Click Set Period. Then, in New Period to Process, enter 1. Confirm that dates and information are correct for your first period of 2023. Then, click OK. If your holiday year ended on the 31st of December, you're prompted to roll forward the payroll's holiday and absence year. Click Continue Set Period. When you retrieve RPNs for the first period in 2023, any changes to employees' tax credits, cutoff points and USC thresholds will be imported. If applicable, you should now enable CSO reporting and assign ASC settings to your employees. We also recommend that you validate your payroll data. You've now set up your 2023 tax year and you're ready to start processing your payroll.